Okay, so do a test drive to verify, make sure there's no pulling, no odd vibration, wheel balance issues, or anything like that, just to verify, so. Gotcha. Okay. We arrived at the Liquid Spring facility in Lafayette, Indiana for our appointment early on August 4th. From previous communication with them, we knew we would have to vacate the RV for about three days and stay in a hotel. We also were told they would have to turn the electricity off, which meant we would need to empty the refrigerator. We opted to stay in a Suites hotel in Lafayette. It wasn't great, but it worked out okay. We were met by our sales service person, Eric. We talked briefly about the current RV suspension setup, liquid spring in the rear, and safety plus and coney shocks in the front. And because we knew we had to turn the electricity to the entire RV off, explained how our house batteries were connected. Eric called over Michael, our installer, and Derek showed him the setup of the batteries. We had been concerned we would have to completely disconnect the batteries, and if you watched our Battleborn installation video, you know we did not want to do that. Fortunately, all that was needed was to turn it off at the switch. We then went for a test drive with Eric so he could assess the motorhome before the installation of the new front suspension. We drove a loop of several miles so Eric could get a good feel for how the RV was before. He would then drive the same route after the installation to make sure it was just right. While we waited for our motorhome to get the front liquid spring in place, we were able to do a couple of really fun things. One was a factory tour, which we will show you in a separate video. And the other was to go to Indianapolis to the Fire Department Instructors Convention being held at the big convention center there. Now, why go to a Fire Department Instructors Conference? That's a great question. And to answer that question, you have to go back into the history of Liquid Spring. Have you ever seen these huge off-road mining vehicles? We see them a lot over in the Kennecott area in Utah. Well. Over 20 years ago, the idea was conceived to put a safer suspension into these huge trucks to provide a safer, even life-saving ride. The new liquid spring worked so well, they started putting them into ambulances to provide safer and smoother rides for the emergency medical staff, as well as the patients. The company moved into the RV industry after the 2008 recession eased and RV sales began to rise again. So while we love them for making our motorhomes more comfortable, they are renowned in the EMS industry too, which is why they had a booth at FDIC, which is the largest fire department convention in the world. And we got an invitation to attend to see both their booth and hear Carl Haar, the director of sales and marketing, tell us just exactly how Liquid Spring works. Hello, this is Carl with uh, Liquid Spring. I'm the sales and marketing director for the company. So we'll take a little time and just do a little uh, once over on the liquid spring suspension, kind of talk about it. Liquid spring is a compressible liquid suspension system that utilizes silicone oil that has a 6% compressibility. What we're using is the compression and riding on the fluid itself. So we have a strut in the back that's gonna carry all the load of the vehicle. It is a shock absorber and a spring all in one. That is actually coupled to what we call a secondary volume. That's a large tube back here that's under pressure that's broke into two chambers. Right here is where we have a manifold and then we have a rate control valve. It's a valve that controls our spring rates. So this is a variable spring rate suspension where we can drive down the road and give you a very soft ride but instantaneously, we can change that spring rate almost five times stronger to give you the stability in a turn or wind events. So how we do that is we use steering, speed, brakes, and height control information to go to our computer. We've really got a little computer over here that controls that rate control valve that we talked about earlier. So as we're driving down that road, you move your steering wheel rapidly, our rate control valve closes instantly, ramps up our spring rate, and eliminates the body roll. Wow. So it's a very smart system, and it is a stability control in the suspension to give you that ride and handling all in one package. The fluid is good for the life of the vehicle. Uh, 
and it operates to 50 below. So if you want to do your Alaskan tour in the middle of the winter, <laughs> have fun with that. <laughs> this cylinder is a round tube, right? Mm -hmm. And then you've got a, a rod inside there that's uh, an inch and a half compared to the three inch. As you're shoving that inch and a half rod up into that barrel of fluid, something has to give. So that compression, fluid that fluid then compresses around that rod and allows that compression and gives you that soft ride. That's how that oil works. And this is as opposed to a regular shock, which uses what, air? Mineral oil. So mineral you're thinking oil. shock absorbers and suspension. Okay. So a shock absorber is mineral oil, and as they heat up, that changes the viscosity, and actually the shocks fade and they start getting less damping. The liquid spring oil is very stable through that temperature range, and you maintain that same viscosity and damping whether you're driving one hour or five hours. So it's very stable through that platform also. And then it also replaces the leaf springs as well, yes, right? Yes, it does. This is a full, what we call a five-link suspension. One, two, three, four on the other side, and the fifth one is side to side. So it's a five-link suspension system. And what that does for you is gives you better articulation in the axle. So when you're driving into a gas station, the driveway where you come in at an angle, yeah. you don't get that big heavy toss because a leaf spring is trying to keep the frame and the axle at the same height. With a five link, it allows the articulation where the frame and the axles can move independent from each other. So it's a smooth transition. As your front tires come in, that rear axle allows it to move. And you don't get that big head toss. Interesting. A big thanks to Carl Haar, who is the Director of Sales and Marketing for Liquid Spring in uh, Lafayette, Indiana. Um, it was so great to listen to him at the FDIC convention and get an idea for exactly how Liquid Spring works. And a big thanks also to Eric and Michael. Eric is our uh, sales rep and Michael was the installer. They did a great job and uh, yes. it worked out really well. It was a little disconcerting to see our huge motorhome up on jacks. They, they have these special lifts that they lift up the motorhome and then they put these uh, supports underneath it so that it's just sitting in the air. And they take the tires off. And they take the front tires off. And I'm sure if, if it's uh, they're putting in the back ones, then they take the, yeah, the rear exactly. tires off as well to be able to give them easier access. But it was completed in just it, in the amount yeah. of time they said it would be. Three, three days, days is all it took. Yep. They took the, the leaf springs and the shocks out. The Coney shocks. Coney shock. They left in the uh, Safety Plus and the aftermarket sway bar that we had right. added. So what are your thoughts now on how we've, we've driven now about 2,500 miles yep. since we had those installed. And so it's what are your thoughts? great. I really love it. It's much more stable, it's quieter, it's uh, a lot quieter. As you can see from this video, there's a, you might be able to see it, we can sure tell. Um, we went around this big curve and there's usually a lot of that top heavy sort of feeling and it's gone. Yeah. It was, I mean. It doesn't, it's much more stable, doesn't mm -hmm. sway when you go around the corners. You can feel when the trucks pass, but it's not near as bad. Exactly. So, so. Um, we are big fans. In fact, I would say we are raving fans. Liquid Spring is a great company. They did exactly what they said they would uh, in exactly the amount of time that they said they would. For the exact amount of money. For the exact that amount of money that they said they would. And yeah. so we had just a great experience with them. We absolutely recommend if you have the opportunity, if you're thinking about getting Liquid Spring, don't hesitate just do it now we they did tell us that they are booked out for the rest of the year so if you want them you're going to have to call and make that appointment and uh, get in and get in the queue to get yours put into your coach um, but yeah it is a game changer for a gas motorhome no doubt so I think that's going to do it for us from the banks of the Mississippi River here as we're uh, on our way home uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, be sure to do that. And press like and ring the bell to get notified. You bet. And until next time, Restless Friends, you take care. Bye.